see you fighting those guys when he goes Who, back. Who's talking about the Nate? Gym? Is. Oh, uh, yeah, Nate. Nate talks a lot of crazy shit. I mean, <laughs> Leon's a current champion of the world. You don't give, give three fucks less, I'm sure, about Nate. You know, and I don't know who else he's talking about, but I don't give a fuck. I hope he's talking about other people and distracted and not thinking about me. So I sleep with that second quickly. Why are you second feeling uh, to Nate? Why are you second feeling on, on this to Nate? Because we should say Nate, the Diva Diaz, you know? He said that if the poster wasn't like this, he wouldn't fight. I'm not fighting. If it's in New York, I'm not fighting. If the fight's in Miami, I'm not fighting. If the fight's in Texas, I'm not fighting. Man, brother, you sure you're a fighter? You sure you want to fight? You know, he said it had to, his name had to be at the top. Though I obviously clearly won the first match, you know? So there's a lot of shit out there that they got me. They rubbed me the wrong way, you know? got me all into my feelings and on June 1st I get to express those feelings. George, what does this uh, boxing match uh, mean for your legacy to our Cuban American community? I love it. Um, my roots started in uh, boxing. I first discovered boxing when I was 7, 8. Then around 12, 13 years old I discovered MMA and I pledged my life to it and I did it for, for as long as I could and as hard as I could. And now um, I get to box and show the world what I could do, and out of all the arts, it's the one that came the easiest to me, you know? Not that boxing's easy or nothing like that, but wrestling was always a, a headache and a nightmare for me. I put countless and countless amount of hours in there just to work the defense of it, just to work the offense of it. Same with jiu-jitsu. Boxing, though, I was like a fish to water. I could immediately understand concepts, range, timing, setups, you know, all, all that stuff, you know? So I always felt in boxing, I had a lot of gifts that God bestowed on me. Great. What's up, brother? Not talking to fight on TV. I'm good, man, thank you. Uh, so, what did you think of Nate's fight against Jake, and how can you exploit those holes in this game? I thought that was boring. I mean, but both, on both ends, you know, neither of those guys gave boxing the proper respect it needs to be. It just first show up in fucking utterly great shape to be able to throw heat for however many rounds they were supposed to go. And just neither of them were, were mean, you know. Looking at Nate's shape and being a fighter and, and having competed against him, he didn't look nowhere near in shape. Like, I don't think he took Jake at all seriously. It looks like he just came out of the couch and hit some pads and, okay, I'm going to box, you know. Um, I'm hoping he don't come in like that, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck, you know. If you make that mistake with me, you, you know I have bad intentions every second that I'm in front of you. Um, I, I don't really think much of that fight, you know. What do you think? What would, uh, you, what, what, what would you have to do well in order to come away with the other victory? Just be in shape. That's it. That's all I got to do is be in shape and naturally way faster, better athlete, hit harder, better reflexes. And I know my boxing is better because I already stepped in there with them. My fundamentals are better. And now all I've been doing is boxing the last four months of my life. You know, since January, I've been in an intensive camp just boxing and learning to trade. So I'm just eager now to get out there and see what it's worth. Well, what do you think uh, Kimbo would say so you can on a stage like this? Kimbo would say, go get your bread, man. Go <laughs> <laughs> get that bread. Well, you said you're not interested in Jake Paul, but uh, you had a big fight with Tommy Fury. Is that someone that would interest you? Yeah, Tommy Fury interests me, you know. Definitely Tommy Fury interests me. We go to England and, and sell out some arenas over there. He's got some matches. And he has a win over Jake, you know, and the UFC has let me fight Tommy. So I'll definitely go over there and, and throw down with Tommy at some point. Oh, okay. uh, As the first BMF title holder, what do you think about Max Holloway's performance against the... Um... Wow. Fucking wow, Max Holloway. Wow. That is how you're supposed to win a BMF title. Just, he's up four rounds to one. <gasps> Sorry guys, long night, early mornings. Um, and basically, 10 seconds left to go, and he's willing to fucking risk it all. He's willing to say, fuck it. Let's find out who the real bad motherfucker is, and then he delivers that, you know. One BMF has the fastest knockout in the world, the other BMF has the latest knockout in history, and it's just, like he over delivered in so many ways, man. I'm the, I'm the biggest fan of Max I've always been, whether this fight had ever happened or not. But this just made me that much more of a Max fan. Oh, what hey. Uh, Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. Just a quick question for you. After the result between Ngannou and Fury, or, you know, excuse me, and Joshua, do you think an MMA fighter can still potentially go up against a champion in boxing and come out with a better result, a W even? Definitely. Um, Anthony Joshua didn't go his way. But uh, the Tyson fight was close, you know? And Gano had his moments in there. Obviously, boxers are gonna be better at boxing than MMA guys. But at the end of the day, it's a fight. <sighs> Anything can happen. You know, you're just one punch away from getting hurt. There's there's a guys that have better skill sets than others, you know? So I think it could happen. An MMA guy could go in there and win the belt. It was pretty close with Tyson, Fury, and Gano, especially, you know, um, AJ had uh, a... Yeah, 
Anthony Joshua AJ had some freaking uh blueprints on Engano, right? He got to see him, you know, go against Tyson, he got to see a lot of the tendencies, the habits, the patterns, and he exploited them very well. Would the fight have been the same if Engano and AJ were the first fight? Who knows? Maybe it wouldn't have been the same, you know. But regardless, hats off to AJ, great fight, hats off to Engano for stepping up and fighting the world's best back to back. You know, ain't nobody doing that. Not even in boxing are these boxers doing that shit. So I hope a lot of the boxers took note and you know, decide to fucking fight each other. Two more questions. Jorge, how much can you take from the first fight you had with Nate? 